Shalom. Want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Rakakwadash, double honesty apostles and those of great Missouri and salutation to your far thousand men, but one third men, men, women, and children like to be saved. It's Brother Yahweh from GMS Gano. Come to you with a quick lesson. All right. Um, this lesson is about the microchip implants that let you pay with your hand. And that's from BBC slash news slash business you know, and there's a number there put a link in the description this was released 11th of april 2022 all right by catherine latham business reporter all right you can see this image with this woman holding out her hand about above a device it says a woman paying for her meal in a cafe using a contactless payment chip implanted in her hand yeah so that's why the internet is is you know the speed of it is being or the access to information digitally is um is increasing the speed is increasing right also is being filtered right it, meaning that certain information is not accessible by everyone you know you could you could learn about that in the um documentary the social dilemma all right this is uh it says patrick palman causes a stir whenever he pays for something in a shop or restaurant now the question is who is setting up this system right and why is this important right i'm, I'm going to teach it like uh for you younger brothers out there it's important because younger brothers and sisters that may now come into truth it's important to know this information because this is this will be the ultimate enslavement tool right ultimate enslavement tool let's read it is revelation 13 and verse 16 it says and he calls it all every single body both small and great rich meaning young and old rich and poor free and bond to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads it says right hand the world is predominantly right-handed and also to indicate strength right Oh, um, but you could go into that that's another lesson it says and that no man might buy or sell see if he had that see if he had see if he that had the mark or the name of the piece or the number of his name right no man may buy or sell you won't have access to certain things without this mark right and they're going to behead people for, that didn't take this microchip here's the wisdom and do all the other things other than beheading all right just in case you might be thinking that all right i could um avoid that they have many ways of tracking or or eliminating somebody or making somebody disappear all right let's give this let me plug in this charger all Yeah, it says that no man might, verse 17, that, and that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark, or the name of the beast, or the number of his name. Here is the, here is wisdom. Let him that hath understanding count the number of the beast, for it is the number of a man, and his number is 603 scores and six. All right? This is not the mark of the beast. 666 is not the mark of the beast. 666 is the patent of Esau. It is a... Uh, um, I guess you could say I'm not saying I'm, I'm just speaking as a man. I guess you can say that it's his frequency, all right, which is symbolic or the number in which he stands. So just like all the hundred and four four thousand men have a number, so to speak. He, this is Esau's number, all right? In a mark, a symbol, right? Because everything the most I has numbered, but that's another another lesson. Um. Yeah, so the wicked, so-called white race, um, which are biblically referred to as Edomites or Esau, they're um, they're the wicked of the world, and the Mosai has given them the world so that his power can be sh shown, all right? So that um, the world and everything he created will finally get 
due honors, reverence, fear, respect to him and without question, right? That's what all this is about. It's about his story, all right? I'm going to read that in Revelation. I love reading that precept. This is uh, Malachi chapter 1 and verse 2. It says, I, I have loved you, saith the howl. Love who? Jacob. You can say it right here. <laughs> Yet ye say, where wherein hast thou loved us? Was not Esau Jacob's brother, saith Yahweh? Yet I loved, yet I loved Jacob, and I hated Esau, let his mountains and his heritage waste for dragons of the wilderness. All right. It says verse 4: Whereas Edom saith, We are impoverished, we will we will return and build desolate places here, because they were um, they were in a very low state. In the dark ages the time when um king james was ruling and king james was a so-called black man right thus saith yahweh of hosts they shall build what i will throw down they and they shall call them the border of wickedness and the people against whom yahweh hath indignation forever so who are the people that's that's passing laws that that is that is against humanity you know what i'm saying who are the people you could watch a lot of news and so forth? Um, this guy was his name, uh, George Carlin. He always bring out information about the United States and the atrocities of these of uh the rulers that be, you know. This is um Job 9 24. The earth is given into the hands of the wicked, he covered the face of the judges thereof. If not, where and who is he? All right, the judges are the Israelites. So if the earth is not given into the hands of the wicked, where and who is he you know Fuck yeah. all right so let's get into the article it says patrick palman causes a stir whenever he pays for something in a shop or restaurant all right and it's june and you're paying with your hands man this is because the 37 year old doesn't need to use a bank card or his mobile phone to pay. Instead, he simply places his left hand near the con contactless card reader and the payment goes through. The reactions I get from cashiers are priceless, says Mr. Palmin, a security guard from the Netherlands. So a security guard, you could imagine that. He's able to pay using his hand be because back in 2019, he had a contactless payment microchip inject, injected under his skin. Underwear, his skin, his hand. So the so the market of this can be Christianity, can be the image of image of of um white Jesus, you know, because his name is not Jesus, his name is Yahweh Shai. How can a man whose name who spoke Hebrew and English wasn't even invented yet named Jesus? You know be called something else afterwards why is it that all these other leaders are not their names are not translated into spanish you know all these other famous people not leaders I should, yeah well the leaders but these are famous people why mahatma gandhi named and trans tra translate into another language why elijah muhammad his name wasn't translated into another language you know what i'm saying and that's how stupid that's how stupid or 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 simple it is i should say because 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 everybody believe that you, this translation in name this translation name everybody else name is not translated but this specific man you hold on to the name of jesus because what there's a covering cast scripture says in in um saint john 17 i come well i could really one in in john 10 too i think it's john 10 yeah, I read on John 5. Yeah, John 5. It says, I am come in my father's name. Yahweh's the father's name. Yahweh Shai is his, is his um, son's name. All right. And ye receive me not. If another shall come in his own name, him ye will ye will receive. And that's that's prophecy right there. All right. All right, let me continue on this. It says the procedure hurts as much as when someone pinches your skin, says Mr. Palmer. Right? And that's that prick. That's that. We're going to get it. We're going to get it. That palisade. 
currency scriptures. Let me continue reading a bit more. It says, when Mr. Palman has a chip under the skin of his left hand and it lights up when it comes close contact with payment. With a payment machine, it sealed specifically the uh, devices, a microchip was first implanted into a human back in 1998. Wow. This article is since wow you see that you see that yo if this is not a truth i don't know what it is and this is the whole article from there but i should save this where is it the person documents yeah i'm saving this Let's save this one too All right back in 1998 but it's actually is 1990 the chip was created by carl sanders and his team or probably he was just a front man but that's the um that's the the, the, the oldest um the current information all right it says but it's only during the past decade that the technology has been available commercially and when it because they had to set up the system like i like i explained the earth is the earth is given into the hands of the wicked if not where who is he Esau had to set up his system right in order to but now he knows he has a short time let's get that that is revelation 12 12. it says um therefore rejoice ye heavens and ye that dwell in them we rejoice him because we're soon home <laughs> woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea for the devil this devil is not talking about spiritual demon Satan. It's talking about Esau. All right, Esau. Right, you can refer to a man as Satan or devil, right, because of his mannerism. Esau is a physical manifestation of is a physical manifestation or physical counterpart of Satan, right? And Satan is a spiritual, obviously, right. And Satan did not disobey the Mosai Yahweh, why Yahweh Shai. Satan works for the Mosai, and he's deceiving Esau, the so-called Edomites, right? And even the even the, the lower demons, right? All right, for the devil is come down unto you having great wrath, because he he knoweth that he hath but a short time. So this is the great wrath he's coming out. He's preparing a system. That's why these articles are coming out. And you hear what they're selling this article? They're not selling it like if it's something bad. They're selling it like it's something good. It's it's beneficious. So let me read. It says, but it oh for, um made cursed um slack here. A microchip was first implanted into a human back in 1998, but it is only during the past decade that the technology has been available commercially and when it comes to implantable payment chips british polish firm wallet more says that last year it became the first company to offer them for sale so it was free the implant can be used to pay for a drink on a beach in rio a coffee in new york a haircut in Paris or at your local grocery store, says founder and chief executive Wojek Paproka. Let's see what this guy look like. There he is. He's standing right there with a the microchip. The wallet of tomorrow. There he is. Let's see, let's see what country's from. Uh, uh, a serial entrepreneur, the man behind the idea of bringing a payment implant into every person's hand. You can't make this stuff up, son. You can't make this stuff up. doesn't even have a Wikipedia page, bro. Let's 
see his nationality. Alright, let me just, I'll get back to that. Um, and here it is. Testimony of Carl Sanders. Let's go to images. This is Carl Sanders, right? He was speaking about in this same, in this same video here. Fact check. Do not believe this hoax about a microchip <laughs> in the vaccine coronavirus. So this, um, but I don't, I don't know if there's any microchip. I haven't confirmed information, but, um, and, but, um, in the, in the job. But you can check out his video at India today that in right but it does it will work with the um the RFID microchip though you'll see if you don't flag that video on the flag this video on that note but it is what it is it can be used um yeah it says a founder chief would would jack pop rota it can be used whenever countless contactless payments are accepted what wallet moore's chip which weighs less than a gram and it's and it's little bigger than a grain of rice is comprised of a tiny microchip and an antenna encased in a, in a biopolymer a naturally sourced material similar to plastic all right so let's get the strongs, all right. So we're gonna go into Mark first. It's right here. Then we're gonna go into six hundred three swords and six, right? Where is it? Mark, and that's Karagma. That's G fifty four eighty. Let's hear this guy saying Karagma. Strong. Karagma, all right. So it's a stamp. An imprinted mark, not a tattoo. Right? There's 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 a Bill Gates digital tattoo, but that's is that's similar to the to this uh, microchip. Of the mark stamped on the forehead or right hand as the badge of the followers of the Antichrist. There's no one Antichrist. There might be there's no leader of Antichrist either. The scriptures talk about many Antichrists. Let me just get a quick and prove that. See, this is first John 2 and 80. Little children, it is the last time. And as ye have heard that Antichrist shall come, even now are many Antichrists. Many. Plural, that's an S there. Whereby we know that it is the last time. All right? There's many Antichrists. Anyone going against the scripture is an Antichrist or anti anointed. That's what it actually means. Or, or anti. Yahweh Shireh, anti against the anointed, the only begotten son. It says the mark branded upon horses, right? Things carved, carved, right? Sculpture, graven work of idolatrous images. And this is idolatry. This is idolatry, right? So Strong's definition, karagma, from the case as 5482, a scratch, which, which is a prick from that syringe or etching, that is stamp a badge of ser as a badge of servitude. All right, graven marks. So let me check this out though. What we call Carax. All right, from carousel to sharpen to a point. It says a pale or stake, a palisade, and that's what it looks like, man. That's what it looks like. Um, let me go back. That's what it looks like. A pale. Let me go back here. See, this is a video, All right? It's a one-hour video. That's pretty long. See, it looks like a pale or palisade. Let's look at that word or steak. But it's a it's a micro steak, and even the um, there's a car. Okay. Oh, see, see. 
just just like that that's how the syringe is going to go into your hand and then they're going to implant something similar to this but only theirs is round off see round off all right it says um, an x-ray showing a wallet more implant which are injected into a person's hand after local anesthet anesthetic for many of us the idea of having such a chip implant in our body is an appalling one but in 2021 survey more than 4,000 people across the uk and you and the european union the beast the eu and NATO found that 51% would consider it. The elect will not take this. The elect will die. And some of the most high will, will, um, will keep or save. When I say save, I mean as in they, they live. They will live. They will not be harmed. Right? They, they go through tribulation. We all will go through tribulation. Let me get that. Revelation 3. <clears throat> This is Revelation 2, sorry, 2 and 10. It says, Fear none of those things which thou shalt suffer, but behold, the devil shall cast some of you into prison. So is Satan going to cast people in prison? No. Is the Edomites going to cast people into prison and the people working under them, all right? That ye may be tried to see if you're faithful and loyal to the word of Yahweh Bashim Yahushan. Ye shall have tribulation 10 days. Be thou faithful unto death. And I will give you a crown of life. All right. This is another one. This is um from Revelation seven. This is done by the um the elect, the hundred and four four thousand men, the one third men, men, women, and children. Revelation seven and fourteen. And I said unto him, Sir, thou knowest. He was speaking to the angel, and he said unto me, These are they which came out of great tribulation and have washed their robes and made white with the blood of the Lamb. Right to the word, we are sanctified by the word, and it's literal. But yeah, it's literal blood. When he, um, he sacrificed, offered himself up for our sins. All right, it says European Union that fifty-one percent would consider it. However, without giving a, a percentage figure, the report added that invasiveness and security issues remained a major concern for re respondents all right let's see invasive meaning that the ability the ability of microorganisms to enter the body and spread in the tissues the ability, the ability to infiltrate and actively destroy surrounding tissue the a property of malignant tumors all right you could read up you could read into that i don't even need to say says mr palman says he doesn't have any of these worries chip implants contain oh you don't have any worries watch this see you don't have any worries gosh i love these scriptures man let's get it let's get it let's get it we finish with uh mark right we're gonna go to um revelation 14. yeah here's it man It's fourteen and nine. Oh. Where is it again, man? There it is, 16 to that was 14 to my bed. It says um Revelation chapter 16, verse 1. It says, And I heard a great voice out of the temple saying to the seven angels, Go your ways and pour out the vials of wrath upon the earth. And the first went and poured out the vial upon the earth, and there fell 
a noisome and grievous sore upon them which had which had the mark of the beast and upon them which worship the image so this here he's saying chip implants contain the same kind of technology it says palm and say he has no worries he's going to feel a great and grievous grievous and sore not only from the radiation but the well mainly the radiation all right and if that chip that chip breaks in his hand you know um certain poisonous and deadly things will will come out you know it says um because carl sanders spoke about it what would happen if the lithium the lithium battery i believe they use the lithium battery in all of them but i'm not sure i'm not 100 percent sure to borrow it right because lithium is a good conductor heat to keep it charged all right he said chip implants contain the same kind of technology that people use on a daily basis he says from key from key fobs to unlock doors public trans transit cards like the london oyster card or bank cards the, with contactless payment function the reader the reading distance is limited by the small antenna coil inside the implant the implant needs to be within the electro electromagnetic field of a compatible rfid or nfc reader only when there is a magnetic coupling between the reader and the transporter transponder can the implant be, be read all right he, he adds that he is not concerned that his where whereabouts can be con, con, can be tracked he's not concerned man he's a good slave rfi microchip are used in pets <laughs> To identify them when they are lost, he says, but it's not possible to locate them using our free microchip implant. So you say, but we know, we know better. The missing pet needs to be found physically. The entire body gets scanned until the RFID chip implant is found and bred. All right. Yet the issue with such chips you think that they have in uh these heat these heat thing for the uh crown the crown vic royal um on wellness right i can't say these words because these man might flag the video you think that those those temperature reading stations is is coincidences that's that's programming you for scan your hands so when you go into certain buildings and facilities and you don't have this chip they're gonna find you right it will be easy to find you because if you don't have it obviously you would be in this location that location but the most is gonna hide as men the lord with ease you know she would talk about us being as hidden ones in uh, psalm data tree it says it says the entire body can be scanned obviously you don't need to scan the entire body you need to scan the chip Yet the tissue, and that's why they have the the juice, the Vanessa, the uh, the Vicky. You know what I'm saying? What's the word? The Enoch, right? For the um, Crown Vic Royal. It says yet the yet the issue with such chips. And what causes concern is whether in the future they become ever more advanced and packed full of a person's private data it will be it will be and in turn whether this information is secure and if a person could be it could indeed be tracked financial technology fintech expert theodore lau is a co-author of the book beyond good how technology is leading a business driven revolution she says that implanted payment chips are just an extension of internet of things yes it is by by that she means another way of connecting and changing data it's interesting how to put a photo this girl and they didn't put the photo of the guy who invented the chip hmm Theodore, 
Theodora Lau says that in the future, we'll need to know where to draw the line when it comes to these types of implants. Yet while she says that many people are open to the idea as, as, it, as it would make paying for things quicker and easier, the benefit must be weighed up with the risk, especially as when embedded chips carry more of your personal information. How much are we willing to pay for the sake of convenience, she says. How, where do we draw the line when it comes to privacy and security? Who will be protecting the critical infrastructure and the humans that are a part of it? You know, years ago, a brother did a lesson on uh, the series 100, I can't remember which brother, and how that these chips, these uh, devices they place into people. And they saw, they saw um, this, AI, I believe it was. Spoiler alert, this AI. Oh, there he is, this picture. No, this, this Patrick Palmer. It's not um, the inventor thing. He probably didn't want his photo in, his, in the, um, the article. Yeah, um, I was talking about the series 100. And they were seeing stuff, you know, and they had this scene with this woman, she had like, uh, I guess you could say a, an attack, but we saw it as spiritual, that demons is going to get on people, right? Because society, evil shall wax worse and worse, you know? You know, place will get, this place will get real evil. It's already, already evil a lot, but the, um, the influence, the wicked influence that the Edomites are putting out, it's... It's increasing. It's increasing a lot, you know. It says new tech economy. New tech economy is a is a series exploring how technology innovation is set to shape the new emerging economic landscape. Nada. Let me just see how long this video is going for. I don't want to make this video too long? All right, half an hour. So let me see. I should. should. All right, let me just read out this article here. Baksha. So, well, before I read that, let me read this this precept, this um, this Strong's Revelation thirteen. Salakia, yeah, Ezekiel nine and verse four says, and the Lord said unto him, Go through the midst of the city, through the midst of Jerusalem, and set a mark upon the foreheads of the of the men that sigh and cry for all the abomination. And this mark is Thawa, which is a righteous mark, right? The other mark is quite quiet. Let's prove it. All right. Let me read this first before I think that uh, says Strong's definition stigma. All right. From primary stizo, that is prick, a mark incised or punched for recognition of ownership. That is figuratively scar of service mark. Right. Ezekiel 9. So the Lord is going to mark his men, all right? It might even be a lit literal mark. It might be a, a um, see, tha wa. Let's see what they, they call it, ta. Tav. Desire mark. Mark, a sign of exemption from judgment, like the white stone that Revelations talk about. That white stone is, is an indicator of exemption of judgment, all right? It says a mark by implication, a signature, desire mark, all right? Let me read up this article. It says, Nada Kaba, Kaba Bad, Badsi, Professor of Policy, Governance and Ethics in, at Reading University's Henley Business School, is also cautious about, about the future of more advanced embedded chips. There is a dark side of technology that has potential for abuse, she says, to those with no love of individual freedom it opens a seductive new vista vistas for control manipulation and oppression and who owns the data who has access to data and it is ethical to chip people and is and is it ethical to chip people like we do pets the result she cautions could be this the disempowerment of many for the benefits of of a few steve north northam 
senior lecturer at innovation and entrepreneurship at the University of Winchester says that the concerns are unwarranted in addition to this academic work. He is the founder of, of UK firm Biotech, which has been making implanted contactless chips since 2017. Its implants are aimed at people with disabilities and can use chips to automatically open doors. Yeah, I'm so lazy. I don't want to open a door or whatever, whatever key system they want to use, lock and key system. Um, let me show you something in the scriptures. True spirit. All right, Revelation. This is what it's going to say. See, for disabled people, it's going to work for, right? So, uh, this is um, Revelation 20, 19, 20. And the beast was taken and with him, the false prophet that wrought miracles, all right? Wrought miracles before him and with which he de he deceived them that are that received the mark of the beast you see deceived them because it would have talked about a lot of great things they can do all right aim the people with disabilities and can use them to chips all right who can use the chips to open doors automatically or whatever we have we have daily inquiries he says and have carried over 500 implants in the uk but Crown Vic, right, caused some reduction in this. This technology has been used in animals for years. He argues they are very small inert objects. They are no risk. Yeah, this guy hovering a magnet, a uh, 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 screw with his fingertip is, is not risky at all, right? Mr. Palmer also has magnets implanted in his fingers. Oh, sorry, my bad. Why would he do that? <laughs> I mean, back in back in the Netherlands, Mr. Palmer describes himself as a biohacker, someone who puts pieces of technology into his body to try to improve his performance. He has 32 implants in total, including chips to open doors and embedded magnets. The technology keeps evolving, so I keep collecting more, he says. My implants augment my body. I would I wouldn't want to live without them, he says. Wow. <laughs> Don't worry. <laughs> you won't live. Let's say the Lord. Let's get first John. First John three. Alright. So that's three. Yes. Two. What's going on me today, man? Second John. 